Hello, this is Christian. Welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create handlebars helper functions in the backend using Node.js and Express. So here in the IDE, I'm going to go into Unit 6 and let's run this application first. Oh, not the files. I'm going to run it in the terminal. And so here we go, Nodeman. I'm going to press and control click this. And it should load somewhere. I don't. Okay, let's go to my browser. I'm not showing that. Maybe it's a different browser. Okay, so I think it's a local host 8900. All right, so here we go. Now, in the previous video, in the portfolio tab, I wanted to, you know, number these from one, two, three, four, and so forth, right? I showed you to do that and it didn't work the way we want it because it's a zero based index so it will always print zero one two and three instead we want to be named uh, this to be named uh, from starting from one and, and to n so in the code if you remember let's go and uh, turn off this terminal go to the views and the portfolio.hbs here so right before the title i wanted to do you know i want to display the index here and then the dot followed by the title okay and this works fine except the problem was that it always starts from zero and not one right so ideally you want to say one here and to do this it's very simple in like Vue.js or uh, you know angular or react you just put that plus one it would work fine but the handlebars um, engine doesn't do that automatically for you so you have to write a function to do that and so normally you'd be very tempted to do this right if you do that it doesn't work there is a math library that you can overwrite also create your own function to do that but for us we're going to um, write a function to produce something like this to and render that to the browser okay just to show that it doesn't work if i save that if i go back to the browser and refresh it you'll see that it should cause an error it doesn't know what that is so it has a parsing error okay so let's go and fix how we can do this so what we can do is we go to the index, the application, and you also notice that I have updated my Express.js uh, version, and this body parser here is, uh, is is now deprecated. Okay, so if if you're using Express version um, 4.16.1 or higher, I believe, you don't need that body parser anymore because it's now a part of the Express library and you don't need that anymore so if you go to the module you search in there you will see that it's uh, it's a part of it already okay so therefore um, i should go back and just remove that or uh, um so remove my body parser i don't need that anymore it's redundant in this case and instead of body parser uh you can now just put here express call the express object and you leave that that solves the problem okay so our to uh, to our um uh, helper function. Now, when you set the engine here, the way it's set up is a little bit different from. Uh, there's another way to do it too, but this is the way I did it. So here's what we're gonna do. Inside this property here, this object, there is a property called helpers. Okay, it's an object, and that helper is where you can create all your custom helper functions. Right. So let's say I want to create a function, a function called counter. And it's going to be in, I use the error function. It will return, for example, a thousand, right? And you can create multiple functions too. You can put here, um, say, speak. And this one will speak a message, for example, say, hi, earth, like that, okay? So all your helper functions can be created right in here. Now, these are also known as the um, instance level. Or you, I guess you can say the global uh, um, uh, helper functions, not like global to the handlebars, but global to this uh, application, this instance, right? You can create multiple instances, right? So, so it's going to be available everywhere in the program, in the application to all these uh, templates. Okay, so here is, we're going to just focus on the counter. It's going to return a thousand back to the to where it's been used. So I'm gonna go back to my portfolio. Here, I'm gonna replace all of these with the counter function we just created. You invoke it by just putting the counter name here, just like you would with the variable name over here. Okay, so 
save that and go back to the browser and let's refresh this and now you see that it renders a thousand a thousand for each of those right L list so that's exactly what we want one in mind now instead of a thousand we want to plus one to the index okay so that's what let's go back in here and modify our code we want to say the index um, you know index plus one and in here we're going to pass the index to this function okay this is just a variable name right use whatever you want I'll call it index and then now this one now takes a parameter so in your template you now have to supply that parameter to this counter function now you cannot do this you would be tempted to do that because you think that's a function I'm going to pass in the index to that function okay that's not how you do it this template uses something very similar to uh, SQL Server or SQL, uh, SQL commands where you invoke a store procedure. You invoke the function or the procedure name and then you put a space and then all your parameters are passed to that function or parameter uh, procedure just by you know adding it. Right here, this is one parameter. If I have two parameters, I put a space and then second parameter, third parameter, and so on. Okay, in that order. So I'm going to pass the index to the counter function and then the counter function receives the index. I'm going to pass one to that. And I think that is exactly what I want. So let's go back and refresh our page. And there it is. That's how you resolve this problem here. And uh, you have to create your own function to do that. Okay, so what we did is a global uh, helper function. It's available everywhere else here. What that means is that I can go and put counter inside another file too. I'm just for the uh, example here I can go to let's say the um, uh, about page for example. I'll just put here uh, for whatever reason right I'll just put here after the paragraph counter here. I'll pass in a number um, maybe like a hundred okay so I should get a hundred one back for this about page. So save that go back to my browser if I go my about page and there it is 101 okay kind of tiny to see but that's where it is okay so now how do you write a function so that it's only available to this template you can do that too what is called the template level now if you remember that everything here can all be overwritten pretty much all of them uh, especially the layout here okay can all be overwritten and we did that uh, down here. I think I showed you one example so right here, right? The, uh, the chat layout, we have our own layout. We call it chat main instead of using the, um, the uh, uh, index layout. The index is the base layout for all the other pages, but the chat has its own index, um, own layout. So by the same token, you can override these global helper functions too. So here in the portfolio, let me go ahead and uh, reorganize um, this so it's easier to see. So this is a the object, right? And one of these properties is again the helpers. So I can go here and add this property and the same function name called counter. Let's put it down here. I'm gonna um, I put in this time, and I'm gonna go ahead put in uh, times two. Okay, I'm overriding this function only here. The other one I did not change, like the um, you know speak. But the global function will be using this. If I'm supplying the local version, it's going to use this instead. So let's go to the browser and see. Um, yeah, so let's go back here, and so you can see it's it's 101 here, and the portfolio it's still the same. Uh, actually, no, yeah, it, it's only um, zero because I did not add a one to it, I think. So that's the uh, portfolio uh, times two. Uh, yeah, that's that's correct. We, we multiplied that by two. So we got an even number instead of one, two, and three, and four. Okay, you get like zero, two, four, and six instead. Okay. Um, otherwise, if it's, you know, the local version, you would have got zero here because zero times something is always zero. Okay, so that's how you can create helper functions and um, using Handle Express, Handlebar and Express. 
And of course, as you add more and more functions to this list, it's going to grow, right? It's going to grow really huge. And so instead of doing it that way, you can move all of these functions out into another external JS file, import that in like you did up here, and assign the helpers to that list of functions available here. Okay, so I hope this is helpful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Any recommendations are also welcome. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.